Hey everybody, it's Mr. Movies87 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Illusion of Gaia. Let's head on through more of Phil's prison and make our way out of here, shall we? And... Did I just see that little flower petal flying around again? Try playing the flute. Play the melody. Says the talking flower in the corner of the room. Okay, sure, why not? I'll listen to you. All-knowing flower from... Anyway. Um, so let's go ahead and... No, equip the flute. There you go. And, uh, we'll see what happens. Not sure why I'm doing this. I mean, who's gonna hear it besides Will? And the monsters, if there, if there are any around here. And I suppose that flower as well. But, uh, well, sure, why not? Whatever. Uh, I'm kind of already there, strange blue voice, but thanks. Okay, so I need to press the switch on the count of three. Oh, okay, sure. When I shout, push the switch. Okay, uh, sure. So, no pressure, right? One. Two. Three. Boom! The door is open! I can see that, genius. Was... Was that supposed to be wind? Because that's... Kind of weird ass sounding wind, but uh, oh well. But anyway, new area to explore, yay! Oh, also, we have the switch over here, which you uh, unfortunately cannot hit with Will, so don't even try. If only we had something or someone who could reach that. Oh darn, but we don't. Oh well, may as well explore over here while I'm in the area, right? Alright, oh! Little, uh, whatever the hell those are. A barrier there, barrier there, or something. Oh, oh yeah, dark space. Cool. I'll put you to use momentarily. Want to kill off these losers first? Ow. Eventually, maybe if I can attack them fast enough. Okay, let's go inside. I could use a little bit of healing in a hard safe file anyway. Or there could be a giant knight statue in here. That's cool too. Okay. Your shape is only temporary, so will. Not only has psychic powers, he can also transform into other people. Not sure how that works. It's apparently the dark power at work again that he apparently has. But anyway. Um, oh, hey. More voices in my head. I'm not crazy! So the statue is now talking to Will also. This is Frieden, apparently. Or Fre uh, Frieden, Frieden. I always called him Frieden back in the day. I am eternal, okay. So now by talking to a statue of a knight, Will can then in turn turn into said knight. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> and now Will is badass. Yeah, Frieden here is a lot more powerful than Will, as you will soon see. And yeah, that, that's the same shit over there. Also, nice thing too about Frieden, I might uh, I might alternate between Frieden and, and Frieden, whatever. But he has a uh, a lot longer range with his weapon there, well, his sword and Will's flute. So where can I put that to use? You may wonder. How about the thing over here that I just passed up about a minute ago? Et voila! You see here too, yeah, Frieden can one shot these bats. Now he does three damage for right now, whereas Will only did two. So there you go. Funnily enough, I said he was a lot more powerful, and he's only doing one more point of damage, but, well, that's still more powerful regardless. But, uh, more importantly still, later on, he will be a lot more powerful. He did some pretty useful things to make him very worthwhile. But anyway, got a brown skeleton there. Pretty easy. Go after the main body, then take care of the head. Nice and easy. Take care of these guys. Yeah, two-hit KO on those guys now. Nice and easy. Make your way up here to one hit KO all out of the bats. I don't like bats. There we go. Takes care of that. Let's go ahead and take care of you first, and then take care of that guy. Nice and easy. Alrighty. Um, I'm going to be a little careful to avoid those guys. Alrighty. And, oh hey, a chest. What's inside of you? Oh, red jewel. Nice. I'll put you to use immediately. If I can... No. Items. Regil, there we go. Let's see, what was there? Okay, one more enemy up over here. All right, oh, sorry, not equipped. Ow. Oh wait, he got hit, not not me. I knew that. I knew that. 
Yeah, pretty much just stand here and just mash the A button and you'll be fine. There we go. And hey, a defense upgrade there too. Always like that. Alright, there we go. And hey, found the way out apparently. Oh, sounds like a plan. So yeah, you're only able to use Frieden in like actual dungeon areas here and such throughout the game. And as far as, like, main plot stuff goes, you stay as well. Because, you know, you can't really be a, uh, giant armored knight or whatever. That'd be weird. But anyway, go over here and find another red jewel. That should be number seven, I believe? Or number six. Either or. Also, hi, person. Where did you come from? Oh, wait. What? That was you? Oh, the flower spirit. That explains why she was like a little flower petal. What do you mean? What melody? Do you mean Lola's melody? I wonder where she would have learned it from. Wait, how do you know her, by the way? How would she have... They don't really explain that too much, I don't think. My guess is... Lily made her way over to um, South Cape and in turn met Will's grandparents who I guess they found out about Will getting arrested and, well, getting thrown in jail and uh, asked Lily to come save Will. I think, anyway. But, uh, oh well. Oh yeah, we should uh, probably go find Kara while we're here, too. Oh, uh, yes I am. And I will be sure to do that. You guys still doing your little uh, love spat thing here or whatever? Not really a spat. I mean, that would mean that they're like in an argument. But oh, oh well. He's still shy. And you're falling asleep standing up. How didn't anyone do that, by the way? Like, I mean, I've seen people do it like in real life and all that. But like, just how? Old Snorehead. I can see why he earned that nickname. Oh yeah, great name for him. Let's yeah. Some kind of strange pig power. Oh, if only you knew. If only you guys knew. Just wait until this will be a, a fair while later into the game. But there is a line that a character cracks, and it's just like, like seriously, like I'm gonna laugh at it. Of of course, it's it's fucking hilarious. But it's just also like. Really? But anyway, make your, make your way back down over here. And you found a large, yummy, roast leg of yak! Yes! Yeah, a little bit of uh, triumphant fanfare, again, for just finding a, a leg of yak. Also, why is it in a barrel? Although, I guess you know that'd be food storage back then, but hopefully it's, like, not just sitting out just as is, like maybe wrapped in something to preserve it, or... I don't know. But anyway, anyway, yeah, you need to actually grab that before leaving the castle. I believe otherwise, Kara will stop you. And then, um... You know, though she'll be like, oh, we need, we need some supplies for the long trip or whatever, so you go back down and find that. I'm not sure how you're supposed to know that's even there! Um, if you just, like, explore whatever and... Maybe it'll pop up, but I, I don't know. But anyway, there you go. And back to South Cape. Let's see what's going on here since we've uh, last been. Um, what the hell? Um, did Grandma skip out on cleaning day or something? Oh yeah, I, I kind of don't see them anywhere. Yeah, please do. I mean, look at this mess. Two not over stools and two not over butts. I will kill the bastard that did this. Oh, wait. she said, "Oh, quit, Will. We'll come upstairs." Or, why is moving the D-pad uh, um, advance the, the dialogue? That's kind of really dumb. Another not over stool. I will murder the asshole that did this. Also, what's that over there? That on the on the wall? Yeah, I, I, did, I didn't see that, but what is it? The Jackal? Oh, that's right, that guy. Oh. 
that's no good. Oh, hey, it's the um, flower spirit again, of which it's Lily. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, Lily, Kara, Kara, Lily. Um, I kind of did just meet you, but sure. Oh, really? Oh, perfect. That works. Um, village where exactly? Oh, um, Itori Village? Itori? Itori? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Someone will, will mention that, I'm sure. Well, I'm sure a lot of people haven't, because... Barrier. Oh, um, yeah, sure, may as well. Can't really do much here otherwise. <laughs> what a spoiled brat. Something good's gonna happen. Or okay, well, it's always good to be upbeat on a uh, on a journey like this and all that. Oh yeah, um, may as well. Now I think, um, let me see here real quick. Yeah, if you leave and come back in. Okay, yeah, they're downstairs now, and also the house is cleaned up. Um, so anything you haven't done around here yet, um, do so now. Otherwise, um, well, we can still come back here later on. Um, but you may as well do things now if you haven't done them already. Like, mainly, the red jewels around here. You know, of which I already found, um, in episode one there. And let's see, I want to see how many I have, by the way. I kind of lost counts before. Uh, so let's see. Okay, we do have seven. Awesome. And got some more defense power there. Nice. And I believe uh, eight red jewels is another item. Or, okay, life force. That's your HP, by the way, I'm pretty sure. Well, yeah, yeah, of course it is. Okay, so we're on a good pace for right now. Oh, we might want to say bye to our friends. They should be in the seaside cave, I would imagine. Um, yep, there they are. Oh, the guys. Oh, well, apparently Seth says the same thing. Um, I feel like I should tell you guys, but I'm also not going to tell you guys. Even though I totally should tell you guys, but I'm not going to tell you guys. <laughs> Sorry, um, got other things to do. You guys just play cards, do your thing, and enjoy school. I'm going to just, you know, leave and never come back. And, uh, yeah, we're good to go. Well, I mean, it is an RPG, so of course there'll be hardships. Says the crazy girl. I'm kind of with Lily on this one. I mean, Kara being a princess never leaves the castle, or never has a reason to. So of course she's going to be um, ignorant of what's going on in the real world. Aw, how sweet. Going hand in hand. Let's skip also. Let's not do that. That's a bad idea. Alright, on route to Idari Village, which is... Oh, just due north, okay. What's... Moon Tribe Camp? I'm not paying that no mind, I'm sure that's dumb. Ooh, nice peaceful village around here, I like it. Oh, yeah, I kind of don't see anything right now. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, oh, you apparently can't even move. I was going to try talking to them, but uh, nope, they don't let you. But, uh, oh well. So apparently Will's flute has magical powers, or I guess in turn the song he plays has magical powers. Weird, but oh well. That's Illusion of Gaia for you. This game is out there. So, uh, now what's going to happen? Very bright light, and somehow makes a whole village appear. Surprised? A little bit. I mean, she is kind of right next to you. I mean, you kind of can't blame her. I mean, never leaving her castle, like, ever. Going out into the real world and doing this journey and all that, right? I mean, it'd be a lot for anyone who's not used to that sort of thing to do. So, I kind of sympathize with, with Kara on that one a little bit. 
Now, if I recall, yeah, I mean, there's a one red jewel right there. I, I believe there's one more around here as well. Oh, the Incas. A tribe without a written language. Ooh, that's cool. Legends are left in song. Huh. What if we can find one of their melodies by chance for ourselves? Uh, nothing up over there. Oh, big hill over there, too. Yeah, we'll take care of that later. We'll do more about that later. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, she seems she seems friendly enough. But more importantly, hey, hey! Lola and Bill are okay. Oh, yeah, that jackal guy showed up or whatever. So how were they able to escape? Um... Um, that's... That's almost akin to murder. You destroyed their digestion with a poisoned marsupial pie. Then ran away. So you pretty much killed them and then fled the scene afterwards, is what you're trying to say, right? That's... that's borderline murder right there, pretty much. Granted, they... oh, they didn't actually die. Their digestion did. But, um... <laughs> that's that's a little extreme, but oh well. Okay, I mean whatever works, right? 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 But anyway, um, hey guys, what's going on? Ooh, ancient gold. That sounds fun. Can I have some? But of course, people go inside. Never return. Well, I mean, we kind of have to explore them. I mean, they're the dungeon the dungeons of the game, so we must. Oh, the little ramp over there too, apparently. Very interesting. Can I go up, up over here? Hm. Oh well. Uh, Lily's house is right over here, by the way. I'll go over there later. But for right now... A uh, messenger appeared here when the world was about to be destroyed. That's not creepy or foreboding at all. Oh, okay, well, I'll do that later on, but what I want to do first is actually go into this dark space that's kind of hidden over here, actually. And, oh, hey, what's, uh, what's this, I wonder? Cool little, uh, glowing orb there or something. It's for Will, apparently. Oh, hey, the Psycho Dash can now be used. They made you Psycho! E, 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 e. Great movie, by the way. Seriously great film. One of the best like, psychological horror films ever made. Go watch it. Like, right now, if you can. Oh, you can smash walls and obstacles by hurling yourself against them. That seems reckless, but okay, sure. Okay, use the action button to save energy. So yeah, pretty simple there. You just uh, go to attack... You hold A until you glow green, just like that. When you're flashing quickly like that, let go, and there you go. And yeah, more advice here on Psycho Dash if you missed the description there earlier. Okay, I'll keep that in mind then. I'll go ahead and save up there for right now, and then I'll explore more of Idery Village with Lily and Kara next time on Let's Play Illusion of Gaia. This has been Mr. Moves 87 signing off, guys. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.